welcome to Keeney Official. My name is Kiva. Today I'm gonna walk you through how to do a fun, messy extended ponytail. First, I comb my edges forward to lay some baby hair. Let's be real, this is adult hair at this point. And I know baby hair is very controversial, <laughs> but I like the way it shortens my forehead. So for me personally, it's almost always a little bit of baby hair. For edge control, I'm using sleek edge control from my brand Kini Hair. I love it because it gives me the stronghold without the residue. And I am natural, so I do need something that I know is gonna last all day. When it comes to edge control, I feel like it really helps if I put a good amount and then follow the brush with my finger. Now, typically I'll just do little scoops, but I don't know why lately I've been adding swirls to everything. Now you can see how I'm using the rat tail comb to really like detail and place the hair right where I want to place it. I don't know if it's just me, but I swear laying edges is such an underrated art form. Like I never know what I'm going to do going into it and I'm thinking about it as I'm doing it. How do y'all feel about edges? Are you here for it? Are you over it? I almost forgot to mention my beautiful beat is by my sister Nichelle MUA, who I share this channel with. Click the link to check out her most recent video. I wanted longer pieces in the front, so I'm gonna put a clip in on each side. I'm doing my parting slightly diagonal so that the hair can flow forward and cover the clip in. I use got to be glued to secure them, but you can use whatever stronghold hairspray you like. And you can see how nice it combs down and really covers that clip in. Don't mind the length yet. I'm gonna show you how to cut them a little later. I do the same thing on the other side and get the got to be real close to my part line. I do let it dry just a second before I put the clip in and do the tug test. So I section off the hair right behind those triangle sections to go up in the ponytail. You really wanna make sure your ponytail is sleek and snug. I combed this ponytail about 50, 11 times. <laughs> Once I got the position of the ponytail down, that's when I go in with more got to be. And got to be does flake, so you only have a couple of seconds to decide where you wanna put that hair after you spray it. And I'm using regular rubber bands for this video, but the Goody Ouchless rubber bands are a way better alternative to these. I don't know where mine went when it was time to record this video, but I'll link the Goody ones in the description. If you have baby fine hair like me, go ahead and put like four more bands so your hair does not slip. I'm using 14 inch straight virgin hair from my brand Keeney Hair. I like to double my track to make the sewing go by way faster. I also sew the doubled ends together so the track is easier to handle. Not me almost forgetting to do my bun. So I backtracked and braided my ponytail down to the tip. I braided it up with edge control so the braid doesn't come apart. You wanna take your braid, wrap it around, and secure it with a lot of rubber bands and hairspray. And I 
actually blow dried my bun off camera to make sure my hairspray was really dry and my bun was really hard. Start at the very tip of your bun when you start sewing and work your way down. Now, obviously, I could have really done this with hairpins, y'all. But I don't know what it is. The older I get, I cannot stand to have hairpins touching my scalp. I don't know what it is. So I've just been opting to sew all my ponytails on. Maybe this is just the spot of my head where it dips in and the hairpins just stab me. I don't know if it's just me. How many of y'all have a little dip in your head somewhere? Sewing versus hairpin and ponytails have their pros and cons. Like with the hairpins, they hurt. Like it just is what it is. I, I've never had a hairpin ponytail that didn't hurt. But it's fast to put in. And then the sewing ponytails take forever to put in. But they do give you that nice, natural, non-thick looking base. And they last longer and they don't hurt. I ended up using about a bundle and a half for this look. The goal was to have it kind of look like the length of my real ponytail, just way thicker. And of course I'm bringing in the got to be again for the wraparound. It just dawned on me that I've been saying got to be and got to be interchangeably for years now. If you want a really, really neat wraparound, nothing does it like a fine tooth comb. And if you'll notice, I'm using my fingers to pinch and keep the wraparound really, really flat. If you use a ton of hairspray on your wraparound and blow dry it, you don't have to worry about it coming to loose. Now I'm gonna curl the ponytail all up. And since this hair is kind of short, it's easy to just pop in some curls with the flat iron. Flat iron curls do take practice. If you ever tried them, you know what I'm talking about. It's really easy to get dense and like uneven curls. A couple of things to keep in mind that helped me when I was learning is number one, you wanna make sure you don't already have hairspray on this section. Hairspray makes a lot of friction and it keeps your flat iron from doing a smooth pass. Speaking of smooth passes, do not stop when you're pulling your section through because more often than not, you're gonna create a dent wherever you stopped. So now I'm gonna pin curl these curls in the ponytail to make them last longer. The more you watch this channel, the more you will notice I pin curl everything. Pin curls just help curls last way longer and stay bouncy. While a curl is hot, if you just curl it and let it sit there, it will drop. Pinning it up gives it time to cool down and keep a shape. So letting them sit for 10 minutes or so makes a huge difference. Now it's time to cut. Make sure you find your real hair and don't cut it and slide cut your front two pieces. When I'm slide cutting, I'm never actually closing my scissors. And that's what gives it that razored haircut effect. So if you look close, you can see my scissors closing just slightly. And of course, like with any other technique, it does take a good amount of practice to get this down. But an alternative you can do is use a razor. I love how the flat iron really merges my hair with the clip-ins, so it's really undetectable. Now give the front a little wave and make sure you drag your flat iron down so it doesn't get too curly. And notice I'm curling away from the face on both sides. Then I spread the front out and sprayed it in place. This time for the hairspray, I switched to Sebastian Shaper Plus hairspray. It's really lightweight and it gives you a really soft, less heavy look.
Then I use the mini flat iron to curl these pieces in the back. Both of my flat irons are from the same brand. I never know how to say it, Babyliss, Baby Bliss. So I'm not gonna lie, once I curled and pin curled my ponytail, I was thinking I probably shouldn't have took it down. I actually like it as an updo, but I took it down anyways. I think it sat in the pin curls for about a good 15 minutes. The pin curls got it all nice and bouncy. From there, I just separated my curls, gave it some spray, and here is the finished look. I felt like this look deserved some nails, so I popped on my Press On Nails from Cashmere Candy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the finished look, if you learned anything, and what you want to see next. Comment down below. Bye.